All right, all that stricken from the record. All right, dude. <laughs> Before I we get too say, much hate mail. I hate all. No. <laughs> now, we we get enough hate mail based off of our t- takes on beloved episodes. Yeah, really? people are really mad about the way we talked about Darmok. <laughs> really? Well, no, you're in the clear, Marvin. You like that episode. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot the of the newbie crew, everyone else but you. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Here's the thing is that we're is on some people's shit list now. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, the interesting be. part, I think the, the, the funniest thing we did miss is that we forgot to kind of realize, or not forgot to realize, we just didn't realize they're essentially communicating in memes. Like they're all True. just talking about mm. like... Yeah, you know, but that boy but, but no, on the no, unicycle. No, no, <laughs> you know? no. But, yeah, basically, but, yeah, Marvin, yeah. It's, it's memes that we don't know the reference to. <laughs> exactly, well, yeah, yeah. exactly. Which, which is why, which and the exact same funny. effect happens. No, the, oh, exactly, the same wow. effect happens. <laughs> the, these people, these people needed to die, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Well, All I mean, right. you get the same exact experience on the internet where when a new meme is on fire and everyone else is like participating and you're the, you're getting your first exposure, your first exposure is usually, the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Confusion. Your first exposure, yeah, it's confusion, it's it's annoyance, it's irritation. Like, Why is that is the stage you were at. Why cheeseburger? Who, who yeah, cares? but then, you know what? They should have a know your meme. Like, you know how much I hit up that site <laughs> to try to exactly. figure out what is the context of this? I don't get yeah. it. Why is he I, saying I, I will admit chair, not I've, my problem? I peruse know your meme quite a few <laughs> exactly. times. <laughs> exactly. We need it, but they need that for the, what are they called again? The the The, the, uh, the tomato. Mm-hmm. Tamarian, the Tamarian. the Dharma initiative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we need we need a know your meme database for mm-hmm. yeah uh, for them. And uh, actually, I had heard that hypothesis before. It's just like it didn't occur to me because I didn't realize they were talking about the Tamarians. Yeah, like I just yeah. heard about like they speak in memes, and I've heard like that discourse before. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but they also yeah, don't have the capacity to, to write a know your meme website. That doesn't work because they don't. They can only write in the meme. To explain, the right? <laughs> it's it's like no. guys, guys, it's like you only had a single example of advice dog, and you had why? to use that one example of advice dog. Why are we talking about a shitty episode again? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get rolling. Let's to get satisfy rolling the out. fans, no, no, delete all that, Marvin. We don't, no, we don't need it. Be satisfied. No, get, the fuck, get the fuck out of here, man. You know what? I I, I hate. Damrock Poe. Poe Damrock. Poe Damrock. That guy, dude. That damn Poe wow. Damrock. <laughs> well, last episode, Darmok was like very like concept driven. And this episode is very character and politics driven. So yeah. Oh, we're yeah. Getting, we're getting like the gamut of what makes Star Trek good, in my opinion. So Gamut. Failed X-Men character. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gamut. Yeah. His, his his mutant ability is to cover as many things as possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, his brother's Gambit, so he kind of. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's keep going. What else? What else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's their other their other brother, uh, Gamble. He gambles a lot. <laughs> and their evil stepbrother, Gambler, who yeah affected yeah. other other properties and then, and then they're 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 and their filled store proprietor gimbals <laughs> gimbal I have, I have an idea for a comic book character and his name's inebrio and <laughs> he's he only solves crime when he's drunk and uh his arch enemy is sobriety uh, nice uh, and he doesn't know how or why he's able to solve and defeat crime yeah yeah he doesn't remember fact, when he wakes he's up he's not a very yeah. like He's not very, like, he's just a normal dude, but then he gets drunk and he's fucking like a genius. In so he's Constantine. <laughs> from yeah, DC I guess comics. So. <laughs> I love it. Well, that's not uh, even the wackiest idea. There are literal comics out there with characters that are powered by cocaine in the oh, yeah. Marvel <laughs> universe. In the Marvel universe? What? What well, character one, is- It's either DC or I forgot. Like, there's a guy out there who legit runs on cocaine. Cocaine gives him powers. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean, Iron Man was very close to that. <laughs> Iron Man ran on whiskey. I mean, it's yeah. okay. It's like yeah. it's one thing to like ma- say that as a joke, but this dude was like literally one to one. Like, are you there was no. Of, are you thinking of uh, like crank? About it. He was like crank, but with cocaine. Like if, he, if his if his heart slowed down, he he. he I don't think he, he needed cocaine to live, but he oh. definitely powered up when he had cocaine. I like this yeah, character just, already, dude. 
Yeah. I'm What's his just name? Googling comic book character that needs Co- cocaine. His name is cocaine. Snowflame. <laughs> yes. Well, that makes sense. Snowflame. <laughs> All right. Hi- Snowflame is highly addicted to cocaine and needs a constant supply of it to keep his powers. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Is it DC or Marvel? <laughs> it's a DC character. Which one. It's a DC character. <laughs> All right. That's oh, how they're going to launch the new DC, the C- DC uh, universe. Oh, man. With James Gunn running it, you could legitimately see a character like Snowflame show up in like Peacemaker or something. Like, you yeah, could, you oh, could actually easy. See that. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, we we had as soon a, we as had he got a hold of Suicide Squad, that was like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'll and bet you he, he tried. Snowflame? I'll bet you he already he tried, and they just turned him down <laughs> because it was too druggy. Yeah, yeah. They're like, that's a little too much to have. Like, cocaine. we don't want the kids <laughs> to be playing around with the cocaine man toy. Yeah, we can't mm-hmm. make a cocaine man toy. It's it's not something we can sell. Yeah, we we just can't let that. We can't make that work. We can sell a Mister Freeze toy that where you put diamonds in his chest because Mister Freeze needs diamonds to survive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, ice means all sorts of things. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. We watched Ensign Row. Ensign Row is who the hell is that? <laughs> so Ensign Row. I don't know who she is, but I hate her. Just what? Like I love her, dude. She's amazing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, well, do you remember her? She this actor. Showed I don't up remember before. her. What she do? Uh, they Wait, mentioned she her before, but I don't remember. We've seen her before. Yeah, we have. What episode? Yeah, where is she from, Dan? What episode? She looks familiar. Why well, she was in the wait? Was it called Half a Life? Yeah, Half a Life. Yes. Yeah, it was the last episode with Waxana in it, where um, you know, she fell in love with Cogsworth, and Cogsworth's uh, daughter from his planet was like, "Come back and die, Dad. I love you." Oh yeah, wait, that's th- her. That's Michelle yeah. Forbes. Yep. Wait, yep. wait, just wait. the actor? Did they reuse the actor? Or was it the they character? They reused the actor. They reused the actor. Oh yeah. no, they you, were so impressed me, with guys. her performance there that they was like, "Hey, you know what? You should become a regular." <laughs> yeah, but guys, you're confusing me because so her we haven't seen her character. No, no, we saw the actor. It's the actor. Oh my that god, we saw, Michelle Dude. Forbes. <laughs> Sarah and I thought thought it was the the, the character. No, no, yeah. the, we've seen the actor. I don't like before. when they do that. Is that bad? Well, I, don't care. I think it's okay because they had like a. She had a diff- different face prosthetic, and also no, like- it was just a little thing. <laughs> it was not that different. But I also liked that they, totally, they were like <laughs> totally separate people. But they were like, "Oh, she's a great yeah. actor. We should reuse her. Why not? You know, um, she, she did a great I job. Mean, she was yeah, and she was also really mean in that role too. <laughs> it's like the Gam- well, it's like the Gambit brothers. <laughs> she well, was like, I did find her compelling in her performance. I like her. Yeah, I, I like her. I like yeah. her a lot. No, I, li- I like her. I just, yeah, I just wish there's so many. But you just said you hated her. A- no, no, <laughs> I meant like I was trying to. She's really mean. Yeah, I was trying to make a very poor joke running that everybody initially oh, hated th- her. Oh, so yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the moment everyone hears her name, they're like, "Fuck this girl." Fuck yeah. this lady. She, yeah. fucking, I don't want her tan. anywhere I hate fucking her. near me. And like, you don't, you have no idea why everybody hates her so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, she's a traitor. Yeah, well, they had to give her a devastating enough backstory to be able to compete with Wesley, who she is designed to replace. So that's true. Oh, wait, is she, she going to be on here forever? She is the Wesley replacement. Oh, so okay. They were like, fine. oh, uh, Will Wheaton's gone. We need another low ranking character who's spunky and trying to do stuff. Who could it be? And Michael Pillar came up with this character. We've talked about Michael Pillar before, but I just want to mention because I've never given him his flowers and how important. I think he is I think to he's French. Uh, it's Michael Pillar. <laughs> yeah. Michael Pillar. Uh, <laughs> oh Michael Pillar Beautiful. is by many Pilar. people who are involved in the show credited <laughs> as being the one who made TNG good. Uh, hmm. He became the okay. head of the writers' room at season four. And mm-hmm. many people believe that is why the show ended up starting to get really good, becoming more character driven, more interesting mm-hmm. stories. Okay. It's because this not, guy not took Ronald over. D. Moore? <laughs> Ronald D. Moore is involved, uh, but Michael Pillar was running it. He was the guy who was willing to open up, and this is still unprecedented for its time and even today, open up TNG to public submission of scripts. So there, he was like, "Hey, let's just have like all of our PAs just read scripts that are sent to us." You know, let's just They'll have sign- people give us ideas for free. No, because then he would hire out of those pools. Okay, he'd be like, really? "There's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of great talent Good, in there. Let's yeah, a lot of people got started their writing careers because Michael Pillar looked at their script out of this pile and was like, "Yeah, this Sarah, is a great they, idea." They, they had the, the Writers Guild back then. It was like, so, "Wow." So you know, he was a. Uh, 
really positive influence on the show. And he pushed for stuff that everyone was being like, I don't know, we shouldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. There's some like really interesting progressive episodes later in the series that is a direct like response. Like if, like if Michael Pillar was there at the beginning, remember the episode where they were like going to have like a gay couple kissing in the background or something? They probably would have mm-hmm. had it because Michael Pillar would have pushed for it. You know, Do we know w- anyone that got their writing career started because their script was selected? Oh my god, I totally, Pilar? I totally forget all the names off the top of my head. I, the reason I know this is because I decided to like start watching some of the Star Trek TNG Blu-ray content, and mm. they just all talk about Michael. Unfortunately, Michael Pillar has passed away. He had a <laughs> neck cancer. And he passed away from it. Oh my god! Um, but everyone mm. who talks about him is like, man, my career would not have existed without Michael. So Pillar. there is a good amount of people that have been. Yeah, an entire writer's launched. room essentially. Yeah, and well, that's and awesome. They, yeah, him. he was a very he was a very positive influence on both the show and all these writers. And mm. Ensign Rowe is one of his ideas. Is like we need another firecracker, low ranking character who's. I don't think he said it out loud, but you know, more interesting than Wesley. Uh, So she's (laughs) definitely more interesting. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So that's the genesis of this episode. I guess he made the conception along with Rick Berman, which I think is a little weird because it's widely known that Rick Berman's kind of the guy who kind of held back Star Trek a lot. You know, he's kind of a piece of shit, but Mm -hmm. to his credit, uh, he's a Mitch McConnell of fucking Star Trek. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he he uh, he does signed he, off. Does on, he look like a turtle as well? <laughs> no, no, he looks much much uglier. <laughs> oh no, uh, turtles are not ugly. We need to stop. That's why I said much much uglier turtles than turtles. Are, turtles are pretty what, ugly, Sarah. Uh, no, Don't, I think oh, turtles I, are cute. Okay, I I legitimately think turtles are cute. I think turtles and lizards are cute. Sarah, oh, you know what's funny is I think I think turtles are cute, but I think lizards are are gross. I know. I find that fascinating. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm fuck ET. We you already know how I feel about ET. (laughs) I'm with you on I'm I'm with you on ET. ET sucks, but (laughs) lizards are cool. Geckos are cool. Yeah, I think they're cute. I don't know. Even snakes are cute. No. Yeah. I was telling Sarah the other day, I think corn snakes are legitimately cute. Like the little ones, the little skinny ones. I think they're cute. Uh, but yeah. Sarah, Sarah's like, oh, they're gross. And that's, you Get know, that's fine. Box. It's a phobia. You're fine. I don't uh, like that's... that they're like basically moving noodles. That's really <laughs> weird. That's, you know what? That's fine. You're allowed to not like what you don't want to like. Uh, but a but, turtle? Cute. <laughs> yeah, turtle, turtles and tortoises. Especially uh, Sarah has a story of once she was working in an editing bay. And they heard, remember, you could tell the story. You heard like a oh, scraping. Oh, yeah. I heard like a <laughs> scraping for like an hour. And what? a, uh, yeah, I heard like this weird slow scraping for like an hour. Oh, and no. after an hour, it stopped. And I looked behind me and a turtle had made its way to me after <laughs> an hour of traveling through the house from outside. <laughs> <laughs> and it stopped oh, in the doorway right behind me and was like, hello. It just wanted to hang and out with you. I was yeah. like, oh, so that noise was you crawling through the <laughs> okay, house. As long as it to wasn't get to stuck. Me. As long as no, it was no, no. moving no, no, in was, somewhere. It was, it was intentionally slow. trying was, to get to the room where everyone was editing. And yeah, where I was. Out. It wanted to hang out with me. And it but <laughs> it was it, it took it a long time to get from outside. It, it yeah. went through like um, an open there's so door. Many questions to this story. Yeah. <laughs> were, were you editing by the beach? No. <laughs> why was there a turtle to be? Fo- why if was the, the turtle following? She was editing was, in the Hanauma Bay. Yeah, <laughs> I was editing in a house, and this turtle. I guess the owners of the house. They said the turtle just came with the house. Like they don't know <laughs> where oh, it came okay. from. Tenant? It's just he just lives there, and so we would leave the door open. You know, I didn't really see the turtle much. It would come and go, but I we left the door open to let some air in, and you know, kind of like the back door to the garden area, and uh, the turtle just came on it and yeah. wanted to have. Oh fun my god, it and came on it. God damn, perverted turtle! It was cute because it it crawled. It crawled all the way through the back, through the kitchen, through the living room. Like, found the little room I was in, and just like stopped behind me and like looked at me. And I found its destination. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It like made it, and I was like, oh wow, you were crawling this whole time. (laughs) That's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. I gave it a. I think I gave it a strawberry or some lettuce or something. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this slowly go. Oh, yeah. no, they, they don't need strawberries, Sarah. They only eat pizza. 
<laughs> it? God damn yeah. it. Should have given us some pizza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that instantly triggers the, the stop motion animation of them biting into the pizza from the movie and going, pizza. 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 <laughs> pizza. Radical, 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 radical. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they say. <laughs> well, they also say far out. Yeah. And um, other, but, among yeah. other things. But, oh, yeah. man. Well. Anyways, well, so is Mr. Pilar in charge of writing this incredible haircut scene we open up? <laughs> he is. He wrote this. He wrote the whole script for this one. Okay. So that is All him. Right. So. Well, I love the opening of this incredible, funny, very life-changing <laughs> haircut we're going through here. So, uh, <laughs> Picard gets a haircut and the guy well, giving well, him a well, haircut. Well, well, Wait, first. I need to talk about this guy. Okay, Let me tell okay. you about this guy first of all. Okay, okay, I know mean, you want to okay. talk about our sponsors, and you, you, you're <laughs> salivating, dude. You want to go, want to oh, about we forgot about dick that. skin wallets, dude. Um, but first, They're starting I want to, to like this. ask for links to our episodes. By the way, so. oh boy, <laughs> they? Uh, yeah. yeah, they did um, actually. Yeah, hi, uh, hi, sponsor. We love oh. you. <laughs> we love we. Uh, well, we've never said we didn't. We love them. I, I, mm-hmm. I've said it before. I mean, oh, yeah, I yeah. had a wallet. I wish they made dick skin wallets. <laughs> uh, but that's all I said. That's all I said, dude. Um, not not like made out of actual dick skin, like like fake, like, like faux, faux. <laughs> like yeah. faux dick skin. Yeah. And if you have an issue that, uh, of you know of, with dick skin wallets, all those wallets are just sold exclusively by Esker dot com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by um, Esker. So that's where you get your dick skin wallets if you don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 guy giving him a haircut. Do you guys recognize him? I'd recognize him immediately. I don't what, recognize really? the actor. I don't know yeah. who is he. Uh, that dude is, that? is a dude from the the the, the Edgar suit guy kills him in Men in Black. What? Oh, the guy who shows a shotgun and he goes, "I got one too." Or is this? He, he the, he's the exterminator. That that yeah yeah the that, tow truck yeah he comes up and he goes yeah you can't take my car I got one too. No 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 no, no. he he's the exterminator guy. Oh, he's a different and guy. And he's going to spray okay. the house. He's like the first okay. guy the Edgar suit guy kills. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I remember I, David Cross, <laughs> but I don't remember much else. Sugar. Yeah, it's been water. a while. Um, all right. Talk about our sponsors, dude. Well, no. Okay. First. For man. <laughs> <laughs> More sure. Well, well, first, we need to realize that Ensign Row was an episode that aired on October 7th of 1991. Sedan. Let's do it. Let's go back in time by going around the sun because that somehow lets us go faster than warp 10 somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get someone, us back to October 7th, 91. In, someone in the comments tried to explain that. And I was like, <laughs> this doesn't make any better the way you're explaining it. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> no, you slingshot real fast. Shut up. Anyway. If, um, <laughs> if the whole point of warp travel is to ignore space and be in a warp bubble, why would you slingshot faster by going around the sun? It makes no sense. (laughs) We're we're, we're going around the sun right now. Shut up. (laughs) It's actually very short this week, which is good because we're already 23 minutes in. Uh, (laughs) First off, Mariah Carey was back on top of the charts with you got me feeling emotions and right underneath her was noted hate crime enthusiast Mark Wahlberg with his funky bench. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) With the Although, admittedly, this is like one of those 90s ass songs that was all throughout that era of the 90s. Good vibrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he did just steal the title. And then later the on, Beach the Boy Immortals song. would, I mean, would steal a, good vibrations of freezing title. vibrations I mean, as part bond. of their Sub-Zero but that's song. that's better. It's an improvement. Yeah, it's, it's better. They're, it's an improvement. They're freezing vibrations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go uh, find the Mortal Kombat soundtrack yes. and beyond, listen to it. Beyond the theme album. song, the title theme song, all of them are bangers. Oh, yeah. man. Look Chinese past Ninja Warrior. Syndrome. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I only have one other item. Um, okay. On October 6, NPR would air details from a leaked report from a Judiciary Committee slash FBI report, including the fact that a law professor named Anita Hill had accused then Supreme Court nominee uh, Clarence Thomas of making repeated sexually inappropriate comments to her, and this information would lead to pressure to reopen his confirmation hearings, which had already just concluded. But this turned into a round of hearings with some he said, she said stuff. And long story short, he was nevertheless confirmed by the Senate on the 15th of October. We're still dealing with his bullshit. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. We're still dealing with this man's fucking bullshit. It's it's almost at the exact same time the reports of all of the stupid gifts and shit he's received has come out. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know. I mean, this guy has been a lifelong problematic person, so whatever. But his uh, his vote of confirmation was reportedly very close. It was 52 to 48. Mm. Damn. Damn, that's damn, it. damn. He's one of those people I do imagine being in a boardroom and saying, gentlemen, to evil. Like, I, I imagine <laughs> him saying that, like, legitimately out loud. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Absolutely. All right. all right. Well, I guess we'll just do the thing where the music ends abruptly like this. Yeah, I love kill it, dude. I love it when that happens. Dan, Dan's a real buzzkill with his fucking last fucking. You could you could have just withheld that information, dude. And not get it. Now we're at, now we're at ten on the rage scale, dude. Taking well, out you know, pieces of shit, dude. You know what? Information. That's why you know there's no time travel, dude. That's why you're you know there's no time travel because or else like you would have just been snuffed out by time travel. (laughs) Hey, part part of watching TNG, part of watching TNG in the year of our Lord 2023 and beyond is realizing just how little our problems have changed. Yeah, Mm -mm. yeah. Especially when you especially when you do the around the suns and you're like, yeah, people do (laughs) like it's still happening. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn, we're still dealing with Clarence Thomas to this day. Oh my god. Yeah. Nothing's it, changed. This is 30 years and his ago. fucking his fucking bullshit. Yeah. This is so long ago. It's just 32 yeah, years ago. Oh my god. All right, dude. That's why we but should we should I'm, I've been saying it for I don't know how many years. I've just been saying every goddamn episode. You're 65, you get kicked out, dude. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. get kicked out of everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. You got an A list uh, account with AMC? Kicked out. Dude. <laughs> you, pay, you pay senior prices now. You go to Hometown um, Buffet? Kicked out. Yeah. Can't. Kicked out, dude. <laughs> no, make, make it just like the giver. Don't worry, buddy. You're you're being released. Mid mid <laughs> mid uh mid soup fucking ladling the soup. Fucking you're out, sir. Get the fuck out of the hometown buffet. Uh all right. The the show starts off and Picard's getting whoa, a haircut. Whoa, whoa, we haven't we haven't. God damn, Marvin! Uh, <laughs> this is why you don't start off this way, dude. Because you got it all hot, dude. God damn! Well, look, you know what? Insert your your read later, dude. I'm <laughs> listen, Go. listen. I just want to say that we have to talk about extra because Father's Day is coming up. Extra wallets and extra yeah. would like us to say head over to shop slash newbie or use offer code newbie at extra.com and you could save up to 40 percent off extra's best sellers with their father's day bundle so that's a bundle where you have like two gift bags you get these nice compact super slim cool looking wallets with quick access card buttons you know made of good materials so if you want like a hot, i think they finally actually do have the the solid gold thing if you really want that for some reason back in stock because one fan actually said he wanted to buy it but they ran out uh so it might be back <laughs> now's your chance so there you go you can get a solid gold wall for your dad if you want and uh yeah that's so, pretty that's insane nice... <laughs> <laughs> like dad a, i got you a piece of gold i got you a solid gold wall <laughs> uh but yeah it's got rfid blocking plates so that no one can just walk by and swipe your info and if you want you can put a tracker on it so that you know nobody can just Take your wallet and you don't know where it went, or you just leave your wallet, don't know where it went. Just look that it up. That would have been helpful for my sister who lost her wallet. Oh, shit. Damn. Right. She did lose her wallet. She doesn't know where it is. and She it's... should have had one of those trackers in there. How it's... does one lose their wallet? I don't know. We have just no by, idea. We have no by... idea where it went. It's gone. <laughs> Hmm. Somewhere in Wine Street. Was, was she inebriated? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, just I have a complaint. I have a complaint uh, oh. to Esker. Esker, you got to get some, <laughs> some crazy skin wallets, guys. Like, like you got those. You got the the Mexican cowboy dudes. You know, with that mm-hmm. love the fucking love to have those the snake skin boots. You got to get some of those wallets, guys. You know, some what? crocodile crocodile they skins. Were, they were legitimately testing it out because they just had a giveaway where they said, "Here is a giveaway of all of our prototypes." wallets that we didn't get to production and a yeah. lot of it was like crocodile skin like yeah these dude. like crazy exotic leathers. animals dude i think dodo they birds just tra- like like you could clone <laughs> dodo birds and then we make <laughs> oh sarah sarah's laughing so hard she lost her camera oh shit dude. sarah's camera fucking exploded oh my god i did that was that was pretty funny i did laugh really hard at that oh my god you know like the the bald eagle is not the, an endangered the, animal the anymore camera came it's not my- bald eagles no, are okay no they're oh. back now we, we can we could eat them now Oh, we're allowed um, to eat them now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah. But I'm I'm talking about some really exotic fucking skins, guys. Come on. Uh, I won't I say the it. skins that I want. You know, uh, snake skin, Crocs. 
fucking ostrich dude like weird oh, yeah. shit like that guys an um, emu um, wallet ar- armadillos yeah yeah mm. komodo um, dragon oh, komodo man. dragon, <laughs> dragon. Those, those, <laughs> yeah, yeah those fuckers are oh, my God. fishes dude we should yes. kill them all and make wallets electric out of eel wallets used to be a thing you know like eel yeah. skin oh, wallets people really yeah, love that yeah. yeah people love eel skin uh, shark, that, shark skin wallets they get it yeah, shark skin up. wallets yeah, um cool. all right guys that's what i want out of the next few years let's get these crazy let's skin go wallets. let's do it yeah let's do they it can be faux they can be faux as long as yeah. they kind of look like uh yeah like do the some, real do thing some, i'm good do some cool I'm good. do some crazy shit extra yeah when you get a chance yeah, get on it the, oscar the the, <laughs> the 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 impossible whopper of, of wallets you know <laughs> it's delicious and no one can tell the difference yeah that's that's what extra is so again save up to 40 percent off extra's best sellers with their father's day bundle with code newbie when you check out or just use the url shop.exter.com slash newbie and also for anyone who doesn't know how to spell exter it is a weird word that's e-k-s-t-e-r so exter.com you can head over i will there. say i remember i said the truth I, I i i said my truth on here i <laughs> said i don't currently have x x god damn it extra <laughs> wallet um but i do actually now my i have an exter um the magsafe holder magsafe holder yeah no, the uh, holder. because th- th- like for concerts i'm going to concert tomorrow it's mm-hmm. gonna be perfect because all i take is my atm card my id and my credit card put it behind my, my phone that Boom. is pretty convenient yeah yeah mm. you just have that on just in one little yeah. package and guess who's not gonna lose Love her it. wallet this guy <laughs> no, you won't well maybe yeah. but i have the tracker so it doesn't matter yeah, that's exactly. True. She should have had yeah. the tracker. Yeah, yeah, we literally have no idea where that her wallet went. Well, Go that's on. balls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yep. you know what's not balls? Having a secure internet connection. Yeah, I'd say are. it's JV. It's <laughs> varsity. <laughs> and if you want a great VPN that's very secure, very fast, highly supported across pretty much any device you can think of, yeah. and is so secure that even governments have tried to probe them and nothing has found because they- Aliens have tried to probe them anally and nothing, nothing. No, they looked in their no, butts. No, no leaks, you know what I mean? No There's activity logs there. or connection yeah. logs in those buttholes. There's nothing in there. So mm-hmm. if you guys want to try out ExpressVPN, which is a fantastic VPN, which is high quality, head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months extra for free. And then you know what? If for some reason you're like, I don't really, I don't know if I really want to try a VPN anymore. I don't know why, but if you don't, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try that shit out for 30 days and be like, you know what? I don't need this in my life. You can just get your money back. It's all good. No worries. I use goddamn VPNs all the time. You know, Mm -hmm. like you go Mm -hmm. to the, I was in Ikea the other day. And they have their underground fucking bunker that you can yeah. survive in if there's a nuclear attack. Yeah. But yeah, there's it's no, covered, there's it's no, covered in aluminum so no one can get any phone yeah. signals out. <laughs> no, 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 if you no, get yeah. lost in there, you're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But, but they have a Wi-Fi down there. So I th- throw in the Wi-Fi, I throw in my fucking, because you don't know what kind of perverts are shopping at Ikea, dude. So uh, I threw on my VPN and then I was I was fine. I was able yep. to to get my iMessage and stuff. Yeah, uh, Swedish can't a, grab your yeah. information and be yeah. Like, but if you have an android phone (laughs) (laughs) what good luck (laughs) i don't even understand i message can you send messages on an android through wi-fi yes of course (laughs) Mm, why wouldn't you be no wait wait no because smn sms messages don't run through wi-fi right they run through cellular network also you misunderstand the only reason why why uh, i hate all androids i that's not a misunderstanding (laughs) The only reason why iPhones receive <laughs> SMS messages from Android phones is because Apple purposely decided not to integrate with the RCS standard oh, and is thank, intentionally thank cutting people out of just having all well, being on one system because they, mean, the, uh, memos were leaked that showed that Apple intentionally did not allow the messaging services to be compatible because they wanted parents to buy their kids iPhones so that yeah. they don't have to like have be like, bubbles. well, why are we on the same messaging system? Yeah. Even though Steve Jobs from the very beginning promised that iMessage would work with everything. But they Here's lied. the thing. What an I, asshole. I bet you the CEOs over at Del Taco have fucking like <laughs> Androids, dude. <laughs> I bet you. Know you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Look, we all They're have Android our moments users. where we shill for something evil, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it's all the time. It's okay. We're human. We're yeah. going to shill uh, for evil shit. It's just our evil shit. Blue, blue yeah. check marks. 
But to be fair, ExpressVPN is not one of those evil things. So no, again, no, 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 no. ExpressVPN. They VPN, protect you from the evil. Yeah. Ex- you go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek for that deal where you get three months for free. Yeah. You All go right. to Del Taco and they have free Wi-Fi, throw on your VPN. Pff, no yeah. one's going to steal your information. They might give you diarrhea, but no, no information <laughs> stolen. Uh, God damn it. Your information gonna... won't leak. Just No, but just your butthole. <laughs> yeah, but Taco Bell has the nationwide reputation for giving people diarrhea. It's Dan, true, Dan, actually. Dan, Dan, even though it he, doesn't really. Dan, <laughs> Taco Bell is the healthiest fast food out there, dude. Fact. <laughs> fact, I dude. agree. I agree with facts. that. Look at it. Look it up, dude. Look it up. True facts. One hundred percent. It's facts. And in I can't, fact, even, I can't even dispute that. <laughs> you can't dispute it because it's you know true. Okay, it's funny. You Not just, even you with just, facts. You just triggered a funny memory. <laughs> there was one time Dan and I were just hanging out at my parents' house. And then it was late at night. And then my dad came downstairs. And then he was like, you guys want to go Jack in the Box? And I was like, no, 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 we're good. Why do you want to go? He was like, oh, I'm hungry. And I was like, but the, you could get anything. He's like, but you know, Jack in the Box is healthy, you know? <laughs> 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 so I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I remember something similar happened with uh, with a, a run to Tommy's, but it wasn't like we it wasn't masqueraded as healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was just yeah. like a Tommy's run, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna post this thing, dude. Seriously, guys. Taco <laughs> Bell voted number one healthiest fast food in America, dude. By who? By, I believe by, it. By Business uh, by Insider, what? dude. Business Insider, dude. They, they Yo, know business, business Insider. Is legit. <laughs> No, yeah. this is absolutely true. I one hundred percent think this see? is <laughs> see. Yo, business yeah. insiders where you go for all of your hot fast food tips. You want to know yeah. when the McRib's coming back? You find yeah. business fucking insider. Yeah. You okay. Okay. Know. CNBC, dude. What's up, dude? Taco <laughs> Bell. Taco Bell's on there, dude. <laughs> As what? It's as, just as on there? The healthiest, the healthiest. It's, just on. <laughs> it's, it's top five healthiest fast food orders. It includes Panda Taco Bell. Panda Express, that's bullshit. Panda it, Express Pan- being the most... Okay. No, but it's what you order. If you read yeah, the article, dude, it's on, like, dude. oh, you know what's the healthiest thing you can order? At, with the healthiest thing you can order greens, at any you know? fast food place? A cup of water. So that's a, that's a dumb metric. Well, yes, but who has <laughs> like, the best cup of water? Taco Bell. <laughs> I think Jamie, Taco Bell's genuinely like one of the healthier. Like, yes. <laughs> Fast yeah, but places, that personally. it's even on this article it's saying it's if, if you order the Power Bowl. <laughs> Who the fuck orders a Power Bowl from Taco Bell? Oh, people that like to be healthy and like to go to Taco Bell, dude. D- yeah. At that point, then why would you go we to Taco talk Bell? We about Taco <laughs> Bell so healthy. goddamn much on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Michael Phelps, dude. You know what Michael Phelps eats? The fucking Power Bowl from fucking Taco Bell, dude. No, he doesn't, you bastard. That's how, that's how, he, that's how he swims so fast, dude. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't know that. God uh, damn. Uh, 30, uh, Michael Phelps. 38 minutes in, we're still not talking about Ricardo. Phelps. Ricardo. Could you please tell us what happened uh, in this episode? Denise Crosby had to intervene. I don't even want to talk about the episode anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just go to Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> let's get a Power, power Bowl Bowl. Taco Bell. <laughs> Gosh, there is one listener right yeah. now who is so mad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's one dude. I'm a little that, sorry. No, no, no. There's one dude who, <laughs> there's or lady that's like, Fucking yes, dude. They're telling the truth there. Somebody finally fucking backs my shit up. Taco Bell is the healthiest place to eat. And they're excited and they're 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 clipping this to send to their friends. They're like, see, I told you now not only business insider, but newbie Star Trek is doing it. <laughs> They're sending it to their primary care doctor and the doctor's rolling their eyes. (laughs) Yeah. 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 (laughs) All right. It's like, I know it's the healthiest food. (laughs) I know you've talked about the Power Bowl. You keep talking about the Power Bowl. Sir. All right. Tell Denise Crosby about the episode. God damn it, dude. We're going to hell. Um, <laughs> Why? All right. Why would we go to hell for talking about Taco Bell? Because we're eating too much Taco Bell, dude. You think, you think God eating likes Taco people Taco Bell is a Bell, sin? Dude? Now, you, now yeah. it's also hey, a hey, sin. Hey, 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 hey. They are Taco the only... <laughs> Wait, it's shit. healthy. Come on. Never mind. Never mind. I was about to make a, a, a point that is totally in like against myself. Well, they're the cause... only religious fast food restaurant. No, 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 I was about to make a comment about them having Diablo sauce, but it's fucking Del Taco that has Diablo sauce. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's true. God damn it. Uh, All right. Oh boy. Uh, that joke was dumb because I don't even believe in God. All right. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, <laughs> fucking he, Picard's getting a fucking haircut, dude. Yeah, and, no, which, I, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call this a haircut. No, that's a tight haircut, dude. It's it's a it's a high and tight, really he's, tight he's, on it's, top. He, it's at a length where this using guy's scissors not even is cutting anything. He's not yeah. really doing anything, dude. You guys have seen a guy or is it a living globe? Oh yeah, <laughs> here's, here's the thing. they them, they them, they them. They are not even doing you, anything. You guys haven't seen these barbers at fucking on Instagram, dude. They would use scissors <laughs> on that to charge a hundred bucks for that haircut. <laughs> Seriously. And um, manhandle your head like they should have done the slice thing, you know, where that you get the cut through the eyebrow. He should have done that with Picard. That like, <laughs> should have put his name. Oh yeah, you know? that. that actually would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Marvin, Marvin, I, I, have you could, have you ever gotten it? Make Marvin? it work. I've never gotten it. But I see lots of tells videos. Tells the truth, dude. Tells the truth. <laughs> Don't fucking lie to us, dude. No, I'm You're sorry. You're lying to our faces, oh, dude. See I'm sorry. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow yeah. we're going to have... Do you want me to get it? Eyebrows. The, I, would, next, I would. My next yeah. barber, I could ask her to do it. Yeah. Just go, just go do one line. One line. <laughs> one line. <laughs> I would literally die if you did that. Like, that would be... I'll do it in time for the weddings we're supposed to go to in August. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Um, so th- this I've is seen a product haircut. in Marvin's hair. <laughs> th- this guy is getting a haircut and being manhandled. And this guy yeah. is... Yeah, really Jonathan aggressive Picard. haircut. And this barber's a piece of shit. And I don't know why this, I don't know why the scene's here, period. Like, <laughs> yeah. we never come back to it. And there's never a callback. There's nothing. It just, they, I feel like the script was like, Oof, we're, mi- we're missing like three minutes of, of this episode. How do you feel <laughs> I got it. Uh, what do we do? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like a metaphor opening. It's just a random cold opening. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do with anything. It's not like that. It's, it's not like, just showing how annoyed they can get with like non Starfleet personnel on their ship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. dude. It, it, Maybe it it's because people, they were realizing say, people were saying, Who's that blue guy in the background? Who's in all the barber shots? You know, maybe they were yeah, like, maybe. <laughs> we should probably start talking. You know, if that. you split his face open, he's a mini bar. <laughs> Two things. One that, uh, yeah, they they this is just filler. They, they never come back to it or nothing. Uh, That's fine. And, and it, it's not like um like in a law and order like where Picard like leaves the barbershop and then bam he finds a dead body and that's <laughs> going over. Like no no bodies are found in this one. Yeah. But also, uh, do you think? I was just reading an article, LA Times article about fucking police gangs in the fucking sheriff's department. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do you guys think there's any gangs in the fucking in the Federation? Yeah, like uh, secret gangs. I think so. I think, I think I this like haircut. Easily, yeah. the, I, sure. I think this haircut person is in one. Yeah, sure. I've like, seen enough evil admirals to assume they to have say. gangs. Yeah, 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 I was about yeah, to say yeah. the admirals feel like they're all in one gang. Yeah, yeah, they're, just, yeah. <laughs> they're fucking elitist fucking because admirals. This haircut guy or the person. It, Sarah's um, really obsessed with the haircut guy. <laughs> He, but like he, <laughs> wasn't the whole thing that like he was trying to give them suggestions about. He's you know, really nosy about their do. politics. Yeah, yeah no, like he's Sarah, really involved Sarah, in their have stuff. Have you ever have you ever been to the sh- to a barbershop? <laughs> No, well, not like that. Uh, okay. No, that guy a hair exists. salon. I that guess guy? they talk. Yeah. No, no, no. This guy exists, dude. Yeah. I've yeah. seen well, him. Well, okay. <laughs> I've, seen him. I've, I've only ever returned to barber shops where it is a silent haircut. I don't want to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's the issue. Yeah. So uh, some people do want to talk. Yeah, I know. And, and this like is a barber therapy. for a certain type of person. Like yeah, this yeah. Is a, this is a barber for every type of person. Like yes, literally, yes. like if you like talking about sports, you're there's like your sports guy that you're like. He, he may not give me the best haircut, but damn, do we have good sports <laughs> talks conversation? <laughs> there's there's a good barber. There's barbers for for like everything. The, the movie. Yeah. I was a movie life guy. Support. Movie guy. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Life support. Uh, yeah. Hey, should I leave? Bye. Should I leave my my girlfriend? Fucking leave yeah. that bitch, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone who who will, so a barber who will just back up your decision, no matter if it's a horrible decision. I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, yeah. Go, go shoot that. Fan. Yeah. yeah, thinking of leaving, leaving, leaving my family and starting a new family. You should do it, dude. Fucking YOLO, dude. Um, yeah, what did your family ever do for you? Yeah, yeah. So this guy exists, and he's not a, a plant by the admiral. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a dude who you who you have definitely if you've been to enough barbershops you've seen that dude. yeah he's uh, not part of the the gang no but <laughs> they they get so there was a terrorist attack right and they have to go figure yeah. out what happened and uh, this episode's both really good and really shitty at the same time so it's gonna be hard to rate this episode for me mm, okay but right. um there's a terrorist attack. They got to go figure it out who did it, why they did it, and we're we're dealing with the Kardashians. It's, it's a whole oh, the Kardashians. Kardashians, yeah. Kardashians, dude. Yeah. They're di- well, yeah. They're not exact. Well, okay. We see one. Yeah. Yes. One of the Kardashians, and he end up seeing he, one. Yeah. He had a botched fucking 
face surgery. Yeah, his face is fucked um, up. Yeah. 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 Didn't, <laughs> definitely didn't go to Beverly Hills for super that. Super uneven. Something went wrong. Yeah. Really badly. Yeah. yeah. And so the Kardashians are like the ones that they say started the shit. You know what I mean? And yeah. the uh, other group of people are like, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this. They're uh, desert people. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I could, I could very easily point out the obvious analogy they're going for. Give the Bajora, yeah. the Bajora, the, Bajora, <laughs> the Bajora are clearly Palestinians, and the Kardashians yes. are clearly Israel. Yes, and the Federation is clearly like a version of America. Yeah, where yeah. they're mm-hmm. getting involved tertiarily, and there are people involved, like the Admiral, who have their own ulterior motive in order yeah. to escalate things. Um, but the Picardi, Admiral yeah. is like an evangelical that doesn't care for either of them. He just wants, he's like, Jesus is going to be there. He's, he's like, like fight, there. fight, fight, yeah, fight. I, yeah, want, yeah. I just <laughs> want the land. Um, doesn't the Admiral look like Bill Burr with hair? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Um, he looks like Bill Burr with hair. So, so yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah. you're right. They're, they're the Palestinians and the, the, the Israelis. Michael and Pillar claimed it wasn't that, but it just That's seems very clearly really, what uh, it is. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. No, there's no bigger proof. Seriously, there's no bigger proof that the aliens will never visit us. Never <laughs> make contact. We're so stupid uh, because of the conflict in Israel and Palestine. We've had this problem for thousands of years, mm-hmm. and it, it hasn't ended, and it will never end because. In fact, we have vested political interests in making sure it keeps going forever. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's so, awful. <laughs> and if we can't figure that out, it's taken hundreds of years, and we haven't figured that out. How are we going to fucking figure out aliens, dude? It's bullshit. Yeah, we don't, don't. Aliens are like these people can't even figure out a simple fucking conflict, dude. <laughs> One conflict. Yeah. You think they're going to have the mental ability to talk to us? Leave these people alone. Let them. North uh, and South Korea are still separated, despite the fact that one is just collapsing, and then the other one's just like, well, we'll just watch as they collapse. I guess. Yeah, well, I guess yeah. we'll watch as they die. Yeah, I guess we'll just watch it. We can't do it's anything good to about know it. Yeah. This yeah. is not solved in the future at all. So. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. And that's just, a Michael Hiller thing. to a different planet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's Michael. Just, Michael, that's just different planet. <laughs> yeah, that's a Michael Same Pillar shit, idea. Different he, planet. He wanted to prove that hey, there's still going to be conflicts like this in the future. Hey, all these problems we have, they will never be solved. So yeah. buckle up, you know. Yeah. Sit tight. <laughs> so this admiral is talking to Picard, and he's like, "Hey, and he has COVID. He's got, he's got, <laughs> yeah. he's got long, well, he's got long COVID, dude. <laughs> he's got uh, long COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I was like, well, this guy's sneezing and all over way, Picard and shit. By the way." You guys have said it repeated. You repeated this, and I've oh. read it before. There's no fucking cold anymore. Yeah, right? there it's is. Not yeah, supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, that's the thing that kind Wait, of threw me mean? off. So you probably missed this, Sarah, because it was in the earlier seasons. But there's one episode where Picard has like a headache or something, uh-huh. and then Beverly goes, "Oh, it can't be a cold. We've gotten rid of colds. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Something like that." And yep. he clearly, Picard's like, oh yeah, this is a cure for the common cold. And you're like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is really no common cold it, anymore. It really pissed me it off. Literally, yeah. it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. So that was really upsetting because it's also like. <laughs> but this it's, guy it's, had it's, caught COVID somehow. No, this isn't COVID. This is a common cold that. that well, the fact that Picard mentions the co- cure yes. for the Did common he get cold it? somehow. Right, but the, I'm talking about the sickness this guy has. Yeah, he that's, got a cold. that's a Cardassian yeah. thing. Yeah. He got he got COVID from a Cardassian. Yeah, but but yes. but but it's kind of racist, dude. <laughs> like that he's a. What if he didn't? What if he didn't get it from them? And he's like, oh, this is goddamn Kardashians. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, yeah. Also, and, Marvin noticed all his lines are eighty yard. And yeah, there's a lot of ADRing of going on in the episode in general. I mean, yeah. some of it makes sense because well, they're they outdoors. ADR over all the racist slurs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they couldn't let you know it was really Bill Burr. Yeah, <laughs> but I think in the in the conference room when they first meet the admiral, uh, a yeah. lot of his initial lines are ADR'd. And my suspicion is that the actor on set acted it very nasally. He's like, "Oh yeah, like I have a cold, so it. I can't really talk very well." And Maybe, then yeah. I think they. Probably in post, they were like, that's a little too much. Let's redo here's, that. And then- here's my take. I believe it. Here's my take. <laughs> I believe that. This guy's the uh, same actor. He went to the same acting school as, as yeah. the other actor. From yeah, the- yeah. He's like, I just want to be a Southern He's gentleman. like, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. How cold out here? <laughs> <laughs> he was really playing that angle, and he's like, I'll say, I'll say, I'm going to send you a, uh, I no, I'm a method that actor. Yeah, uh, method actor. This, this guy's a, su- 
Southern gentleman. And, and they're like, they're like, Steve, we don't need that shit, dude. I, we told you. And then they're like, what's the guy? What's the guy that saved uh, the writing of the show? What's it called? Michael Pillar. Michael Pillar. Was Michael Pillar. Pillar. He, the, the, he's like, <laughs> Michael Pillar is like, dude, stop hiring people from this fucking acting school. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're all doing yeah. Southern accents, dude. It's an ADR, all their yeah. lines. Yeah. Please. Yeah, we did it a few seasons ago. Not again, dude. Same acting school. <laughs> they're they're banned, dude. Uh, I see, I see, I see. I need you to find the resolution to this conflict. Uh, uh, terrorism. I'm yeah. imagining now. Imagining, imagining Foghorn Leghorn fucking in an admiral outfit in Star Trek. <laughs> just be yeah. the Wait, fucking in an admiral outfit. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was weird, dude. <laughs> Why, why are they fucking, dude? So, like, oh, uh, I say, I say, I'm say, I have a mega crazy pleasure going on. <laughs> My lord. My lord. I have the vapors. Um, so, god damn it, dude. We're going to get canceled, oh dude. Um, they're going to, the people from, from the South are going to be like, fuck you guys, dude. We don't talk like that, dude. Uh, I'll we're say just we racist. Don't talk like that. Um, <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh my God. We're, 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 like, we're going to jail, dude. Um, so these dudes, this dude's like, hey, I have a cold. And Picard's like, don't worry, ginger tea, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I have a question about this. Yeah. Now, is the ginger tea, does it, when it's made from the replicator, does it have the actual like enzymes and like er- everything should. down to like a molecular level? It's supposed to, to like really help you? It should. It's should. supposed to, yeah. It's supposed okay. to make it exactly the same way it was programmed every time. It's like a 3D printer, but at the molecular level. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So if you if you like replicate asparagus, you're still gonna pee funny, right? Yeah. Or it should, you, it should, should you, make you pee funny, you, yeah. Can you change things like that though? Can you be like uh, asparagus but without the pee f- the without, funny smell? Yeah, they might be able to formulate a version of asparagus that doesn't yeah. cause you to pee smell like funny. Beets, but I don't want to shit out blood. Like it feels like <laughs> I'm shitting out blood. You know? <laughs> Uh, I yeah. heard that like the that. asparagus thing was because you have a certain gene or something that makes the pee. I, oh, so it's not everyone. Oh. No, it's the, not everyone. It's not everyone. Oh. I have that gene then. Interesting. I, I okay. have that gene as well. For yeah. When well, I, I eat do, asparagus, I also you will know it. Yeah. When I eat asparagus, I go, I say, I say, no one come into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, the worst. <laughs> I, I have miturated all over the <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this much: asparagus and coffee make for the absolute Ooh. worst. Wow! Chip what result. situation in which? What oh, was yeah. the situation in which you drink coffee dude? while yeah. eating asparagus at a restaurant called Not the Wild? Farts? But like you know, I like drinking coffee shortly before eating asparagus. That's good okay. enough. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, All right. You'll okay. get a bad no, result. No, noted, Dan. I will not do that's that. A, that's a that's oh a big mustard gas. <laughs> Someone <laughs> out there listening knows this pain. Oh my God. <laughs> the pain. The Wait, pain. It, burned. it burned when you peed, dude? Uh, you know, I had something else, dude. <laughs> Maybe I did. Were you hanging out with one of the Kardashians, dude? Because <laughs> that's how that's how you uh, get the burns. They're full um, of shit. They're full of yeah. all sorts of things. Yeah. All f- full of uh, uh, vegetable oils. I need to stop um, fucking in an emerald outfit. <laughs> yeah. So so this um so this admiral's got the cold and he gives him a ginger tea and he says, Hey, I need you to go figure out this business, dude, and and uh calm people down. Any you know way what? you can in quotes. I don't think yeah, he he, he basically says like hey kill them all. Peter. Yeah, you can kill whoever you want to kill, dude. Yeah. His, do you ever see that movie Marked for Death with Steven Seagal? You can go no, like that. I, I haven't seen any Steven Seagal movies. Oh, yeah, every God. time you ask us, have you ever seen a Steven Seagal movie? Like it's gonna be a, a no a no hitter. I, I time. went out of my way to avoid this. Man. <laughs> guys, you, you guys got you guys got to get on the Steven Seagal uh, movie bandwagon, dude. No, there's a couple, there's a couple of bangers, dude. Um, this guy doesn't look like a, he doesn't really look like Bill Burr. Now that I'm looking at him, you know who he looks like? He looks like one of the uh, like Brady Bunch kids grown up. Oh. <laughs> I can kind of see that a bit. Peter, if you got ugly, t- I can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Wrinklier, wrinklier. Yeah, Brady yeah. Bunch boy. Yeah, he, he looks like the dude that had his own show on, like a reality show, where he married the really young adult All that, actress. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so this dude's like by any means necessary, if you know what I mean. And then he he gets a call. Picard gets a call, and he's like, "Hey, there's this girl being on board." This sorry, this this person, this this ensign 
is beaming up on board and she's got a face that's all scarred up. Um, <laughs> no, that's not what he said. He said there's a, there's a lady and her name's Bo or Ro no Laren. Ro what Laren. Is she? She's Ren. a Bajora, right? A Bajora. Yeah, she's a Bajora. Bajora. And they all know her preemptively. They all go. So what oh. does she do? What, what, what was her war crimes? What, what were the? So that was Sarah's question as well. And the episode does not directly they touch answer on it lightly. Yes. Does it mean like, says, oh, fuck this bitch. And but no one's like, no, but why? Why do we hate her? Well, th- she said uh, to Guinan that she had not followed orders and it ended up getting eight of her fellow crew members killed. But you don't know the context to like yeah. why she didn't follow the orders. But, was it justified? Was but it Sarah, like, you know, it's crazy happened? that she's in jail, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was in a way yeah. that was considered so heinous that she went to jail for it. You know what? Yeah. This, uh, yeah. what is, you know what this reminds me of? Hmm. Hobbs and Shaw, dude. She's oh. the Jason Statham. <laughs> of, like they, they broke her out of prison to, yeah, to be sure. on this mission, dude. Sure. Um, and we need the rock, dude. And Picard's um, the rock, the rock of this episode, who's like her partner. <sighs> I don't know. He has dude. to be. He's the partner. I He's think the Riker is the Rock, dude. But this, the Riker hates. Universe. I guess the Riker hates her. But then he so doesn't. How many do times it? are we going to recast dude. the Rock and the Fast and Furious crew into this show? <laughs> uh, Marvin, Marvin, yes, in, in yes. Hobbs and Shaw, have you seen Hobbs and Shaw? No, I have not, unfortunately. Okay, then, then you would realize <laughs> that they're. That I know. They're I know enemies. the ending. I know the enemies, ending where fucking Roman Reigns shows up, and I'm like, what the fuck is Roman Reigns, dude? They're enemies. They become friends. I know. I know they become friends because he meets the Rock's family, and they kind of like all have a bunch of stuff in common he's like oh wow you also own a ton of guns i like guns and i thought you were about to say you also have a family yeah (laughs) family um anyway so this is this lady is like the jason statham of this universe and she she got sprung from jail to do this this fucking this thing kind of like rambo 2 a little bit and mm, so mm. she's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm here. And then, she, and then she's got earrings, and, and and fucking Riker's like, you you will fucking obey the rules in this fucking ship, you piece of yeah. shit. You and she's got to take off her earrings. Clip on earrings, earrings off. Yeah, they're clip ons. Like, like yeah. there's no need <laughs> to get not angry. Even, like, like real. Yeah. yeah. Also, dude, fucking Worf gets to wear his sash, and yeah. Deanna gets to wear yeah. whatever she wants. <laughs> Riker so, was yeah. just kind of being a dick because he didn't like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking and what's his name? Patty O'Brien. What's his name? Yeah, Patty O'Brien. <laughs> Patty O'Brien gets to make his fucking potato fucking food all over the place. <laughs> no one, no reprimands him, bitch. Making mm-hmm. potato vodka, dude. Yeah. And and this lady, oh, she has this clip on earrings, and she, she it's fucking the, loses it's the, shit, dude. It's, it's the cultural equivalent of telling someone, "Hey, take your burqa off. We don't allow yeah, that, dude." Here. Whoa, yeah. that's then that's terrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Riker does like a bad thing, kind of. Isn't actually, that's racist because kind you do go down little. to the planet, and a lot of the other Bajor are wearing the same yeah it's important to them culturally yeah, yeah. yeah. Earring, so clip on right, that's what's being heavily implied you can't you, can't, you yeah. can't have your ear exposed everything else is fine <laughs> tits, tits yeah. out fine but not tits the out, fucking ears ear glittery dude. if they're not yeah. glittery well, so, that's really it, fucked up yeah yeah, yeah it's a little uh, fucked I mean, it's, up it's their rules dude they, we can't judge them um, <laughs> so basically Picard's like no I didn't approve that shit dude and Riker's like well someone approved it motherfucker and then the, the, <laughs> yeah, that's the, exactly how they talk to each other the admiral <laughs> is like oh I approved it and I, I would have said right there then they're like dude that's not how this works motherfucker I'll beat your ass dude you're <laughs> cold right now you're weak dude I will fucking end you dude he pulls out um, a stick he's like I will fucking <laughs> yeah yeah you want, me to, you want me to sneeze on you again dude yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll call my barber, dude, and he'll fucking talk for you. I'll have him um, cut your hair if you know what I mean. Yeah. Fucking. And so everyone hates her, and he, and then they call her in, and and Riker's like, fucking hate this stupid idiot. Yeah. Uh, and no He's one gonna likes fuck her. her later. I for sure, dude. For <laughs> sure. Riker's dude. like down the yeah. season, you. down the line. Yeah. In my room. Season. At if it doesn't o'clock. happen, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> very upset. All right. By Pointing the way, at the stands right now. By the way. Yeah. Fucking for all the things Wesley has done, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they should treat her just as just as well as Wesley, dude. Just because they yeah. dude's a white male, dude, and he gets privileged, you know. Does oh, have- okay, you're fine, dude. Fucking nipple baby, uh, yeah. but this lady from the desert shows up, you know, just because she's a uh, she's Middle well, Eastern. To be fair, Wesley showed his true colors once on board. Once that's true. No, like once yeah. he came on many board, times, many times. He, re- he revealed finally. No, once I, he came I'm on saying board. like he he wasn't a known oh. criminal before he appeared on oh, the ship. Oh yes, yes, yes. But he shouldn't be. Look, 
As soon as the, he he got to the academy, they should have arrested him and said, "This was a fucking lie. <laughs> it was we a, just lying to you. This is a sting operation, operation dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we've been we've been We're trying like, to oh, catch you for accepted, years, dude. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you, you've been out in international space waters all this time, and we can yeah. get you. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, were, we weren't allowed to take you in. They, they, they bring him in like fucking Cyrus the virus in yeah, like Con Air, yeah. like yeah. They, they, <laughs> exactly like Con Air. Yeah, the, dude, they, should make, they should make a Con Air, but in Star Trek's universe, and I would, I would, that would, I would give them as much money as they wanted to. Um, yeah. All right, so then, um, fucking, they're all racist against her, and they're planning to go find them and go figure it out. And she's like, she's like, we're gonna look for this dude. His name's like Tim or something like that. And she's like, uh, Tim doesn't have any power. He's a piece of shit. Don't yeah, worry about you're Tim. You're talking to some like yeah. random guy who is just there. To, he's the, they, she literally yeah. calls him the token Bajoran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he, uh, they, they go down there and they talk to a guy that looks a lot like Frank Stallone. Look up a picture of Frank Stallone. Uh, yeah. and look up a oh picture my of this God. Guy. You're kind of right. <laughs> Actually, I thought it was Frank Sloan. <laughs> um, they look like they have like little centipedes in there in the center. Oh my god, face. he looks like if like Frank Stallone became a grandpa. That's <laughs> that's him. Yeah. Look up Frank Stallone now, though. Exact same person. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. So she comes in and and like clearly like they're they're just poor, dude. Like they're just living in the dirt and stuff. They yeah. have camps. Did you and, notice the weird extreme mm, yeah. continuity issue here that they have when she lands? Yeah, did you notice it? Did anyone catch it? Really bad continuity issue. She's not wearing she's a bra? With, when she's with <laughs> the little girl. <laughs> I didn't catch it like in the moment. When she's, okay, so it's oh, with Sarah the little explain. girl. So yeah. she's walking. They get to the the town area, and she has uh, she goes up to the little girl. And now keep she, in mind her her yeah. costume is just a regular one piece, yeah. with the zip up in the back, yes. right? And, and her com badge is, is on the outside. Yes, and so she gets up to the little girl, and she all oh, of a sudden okay. we cut, and she takes off the jacket and it's gives it to the little girl. <laughs> it's now a jacket all of a sudden, and the com badge is now under. Underneath on a t-shirt, a cutoff tee, yeah. like with the arms cut off. And I'm like, okay, that's it weird. is a wild co- like costume in costume. Someone, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, someone the, just threw up their hands and gave up that day. <laughs> here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. They probably filmed her like taking all of all her clothes. And then like, we can't show that on we can't show that on TV, dude. And so they just cut around it, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, but uh, it, is, it was it very is, odd. It is, it is definitely something where they're like, yeah, this is the standard costumes you get. I didn't know and they then, had t-shirts. Like, why aren't more people wearing the, that, no, the that red seems t-shirt? Like, that legitimately is that seems an like... Is that or No, that, that legitimately seems like something they made up on the day of because the costume department didn't read the script up until they were on set, like on, on location. They and they were like, like a red oh t-shirt. shit, there's a part of the script that says she takes her jacket off. Uh, we already shot all this and it's clear yeah, that the jacket she's, she's yeah, taking yeah. off is the jacket. I think it's the jacket. That's the captain's jacket. They just gave it on her for that shot. And then yeah. they just have, it it's just crazy. didn't make any sense. <laughs> it was, it was very, she, she could, it, it, it no could have been one of those, one of those jackets that you could like pack up into itself. Put it in your pocket, dude. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. She could, and Maybe. then she unrolled it and then put it on her. Oh, it's not yeah. the captain's jacket. I think it's just the top reversed. And they just yeah, it, might, it. it might just be a, a, a slanket or a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a snow so shawl. A shawl. It's, it's just you know bizarre what I mean. to me. I'm just like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> so her arms are very revealing, if you know what I mean. And um, <laughs> and so she, 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 she's arms. like, her arms are very exposed. Um, <laughs> look at those arms, dude. You can just imagine, you know, what's happening. Bro, her arms wide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I got so, the her arms wide. Oof. Yes, like you can. Uh, and so, and she talks. To, she's talking to Frank Stallone, and Frank Stallone's like, "Yeah, these fucking assholes, <laughs> fucking starting up a war in in Orion's Belt and all this stuff." And <laughs> I'm just and, imagining and she, stupid Frank Stallone <laughs> with and, his and, accent being like, "Hey, you wanna? What do you mean? There's you need blankets. Boy, we need yo, blankets yo, here. Oh we don't my need god, it. we oh, we, yeah. we haven't even talked about the blanket. We talk scene. about diplomacy." 
And, yeah, and, and he, I have like, so I many blankets. thoughts about the blanket. <laughs> he's, like, scene. he's like, and he's how like, insensitive it is. By the way, it's, it looks like it's really hot there. By the way, yeah, uh, I don't think like, it's cold. Cold. Yeah. Like it yeah. it. I don't think yeah. that's. I think what they need is probably just houses, like sunscreen, <laughs> yeah. sunscreen. Yeah. There's so many questions when he's like, "We we don't even have blankets," and then Picard's like, "Replicator, you know, let's make them blankets." And it's like, why yeah. can't we provide them the replicators? <laughs> and also, like, it just reminded me of, like, I told Marvin of, like, the Trump throwing paper towels at the, like... Oh, yeah, for, yeah. At, like, yeah. that's 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 the vibe I was getting from this. Yeah, yeah. Scene, yeah. which was like, here you go. Here's some paper... T- here's some blankets for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So... I know there's serious issues, but... <laughs> Well, well, well. He, he he kept saying like, you, you, "We haven't even gotten blankets from you." And he took literally. He's like, "Oh well, fuck it. Let's give him blankets." Okay, blankets. And then, and then I wish he replied like, "I didn't mean like literally. We don't have yeah. enough blankets." Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm and just he's, using he's, like, he's like, "We'll take we'll take the blanket, but we need another thing." But he just kind of morph. He's like, he's like, "Go go around and figure out what they need, and let's give it to them." You know, that's uh, true because but we need their it, oil. The I mean, part- uh, I mean, uh, we need to help them. Uh, <laughs> but the funny part <laughs> is, right after that, Picard goes. It's so sad that they live like this when there's technology that exists that they don't need to live like this. And you're yeah. like, you, you have that technology that you could just yeah. give Why to not them. give them the replicator so they yeah. could... They are not I, under I the prime directive. You couldn't give them things. <laughs> like, yeah, you're, yeah you're that totally was very allowed. frustrating. He's like, no, let's use the replicator to make the blankets. And yeah, they they, uh, they are not they are not protected under some sort of treaty or some in a non interference cl- clause. You could give them anything. Maybe replicators like, <laughs> are expensive or something. They're like multi million dollar. I don't Has know. Has it ever Does been? Does money exist? Well, here's That's a funny. question: Can replicators make a replicator? They can to the point. Okay, remember, really? remember, remember Tim who oh, lived okay. on the planet with his fake wife. Yeah, yeah. They offer to give him a replicator in that episode, and Tim said, "No, we like doing things the old-fashioned way." Well, oh, so they can give out replicators. Yes, well, they, well, they could. Can, <laughs> well, they can give a replicator. That shows that they have replicators to spare. But can a replicator replicate a replicator? I'm sure it can. I'm sure you can make a replicator. Replicate like in a replicator. theory, that that <laughs> must be possible. But yeah. like, how how much of a thing do they allow it to be in the world? Why not? Why why can't you just have replicators? There's a lot of questions of why not in Star Trek, and they just say shut the fuck up. So that's why I'm asking. They're like, it's, it's so okay. sad they live like this. <laughs> if my arm gets chopped off, can they replicate an arm for me and so back they on? Had, they, okay, uh, mm, in the second season, Doctor Pulaski says, "Yeah, we've already been like creating replacement." biological limbs Jordy we could do that for your eyes too if you really want to and he doesn't want it and Jordy says I'll think about it and they think they, they do make it like kind of like an ongoing idea but they never revisit it, especially since Pulaski gets kicked off the show. I so, wonder why he doesn't LeVar go Burton's for it. like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they even brought it up at all because Jordy, uh, LeVar Burton, the, the actor, was being like, I really wish I don't have to wear the visor all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of great. acting through this visor. Yeah, well, he couldn't so, see through it. Yeah, he couldn't. He had such trouble acting in it because <laughs> he couldn't see anything. God, so I mean, and and honestly, that is something worth keeping in mind. Anytime you see Jordy in a scene, because like he's acting through that thing. So yeah, yeah. if he seems to be overacting sometimes, it's because he's actually can't self regulate very well. He he can't see. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, he deserves an Oscar. An Emmy, I don't know. <laughs> well, not, not, not an Oscar because this is a TV show. Yeah, an Emmy. <laughs> yeah, no, a rising. A Tony. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Tony, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so so um so they they go back to the planet and they give them fucking blankets and then they go back to the ship, sorry. And yeah. then this lady, the uh, Bo Bogutan, she <laughs> she's she's fucking drinking Kool-Aid yeah. at the bar, and then um Caitlin comes over and she's like, Hey, yeah, I want to talk to you. And she's like, Oh, I don't want company, I want to be alone. She's like, No, if you want to be alone, you would have locked yourself in your room, you idiot. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Yeah. You're looking for something. If you it's know really I mean. funny because right before that, Deanna and Beverly walk up to her. It's like, would you like some company? And she goes, no. And then they just walk away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rejected. All right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, that's I what that. I would do. I would just walk away if someone said they didn't want me around. Yeah. No, I would sit down and be like, you're on my kill list. If I was Beverly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next time I have to fix your wounds, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> She'll do so, that anyway. <laughs> yeah. So they all meet in the transporter room uh, and they're going to go down to meet the Kardashians. And yeah. um, Bo-Katan's missing. 
She's gone missing, dude. Well, and she had just received a transmission from the, the, from, the admiral, and it's yeah. clear there's something else going on. They're in cahoots. The admiral, they're in cahoots. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. She's like, the plan is going as according yeah. to your predictions. And he's, all, and he's all, excellent, execute order 69. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he says, like, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, please execute order 69. Um <laughs> This is a Southern yeah, Emperor. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go to jail. Dude. I'll say I'm going to rule the Galactic Empire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone goes to jail for him for me doing voices and saying 69. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're going to go to hell for sure. Uh, it was a hell. Uh, so they're like, where did she go? And they're like, oh, well, she went down. And he's like, who the fuck told her she can go? She's, she's not supposed to do that. So they beam down to where she's at. And they're walking around, and they get captured by the Kardashians. And, no, no, and, by the Bajora. These aren't the Kardashians. Yeah, but, yeah oh. the Bajora catch them. <laughs> so the Kardashians are the other ones? The Kardashians are the evil guys in the ships mm-hmm. who are- Oh, yeah. okay, okay. That's right, the, that's right, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. With, the, with yeah, yeah. the weird so, faces. So what are these people called? The Bajora. Bajoras. The, ma- the majority. The majority, um, <laughs> they, they have fucked up faces. Well, one of them does. And he's got, <laughs> yeah, a, he's he's been, got he one got of those robot mutilated. voices because he's- he smoked so much um, <laughs> and and he says they he says like, like point of how like brutal and ruthless the Cardassians were to them yeah yeah there's yeah. two like they, there's two examples in the episode there's this and then there's the story that Ro talks about later where she's like I yeah. watched my dad get tortured to death for two hours and it's just but like, then okay. she's, she well, has a strange death. reaction she says that she felt ashamed that he he was so weak yeah, a little no, hard to relate a, to. I think I yeah, like, yeah, he's like he died like a chump. Yeah, um, I was like, um, okay. So I think it's a, tra- I think I it's a trauma response. My dad was such a little bitch. Yeah, so she's the, like, so my dad was being tortured, and he was such a fucking bitch about it. You know, <laughs> and, I'm shamed. So I'm ashamed. The, so the Pajorans are like, hey, dude, my my my, look at my voice. And he's like, man, this is how I talk like a robot. <laughs> and and he's like, hey, uh, yeah, we do horrible shit, dude, but we didn't do that shit. We didn't do mm-hmm. we didn't we didn't do that thing that, you, that you're talking about. And he's like, mm-hmm. "What do you mean?" He's like, "Yeah, we we I've done this and I've done that and I've done this and I've killed many, but that one I didn't do." I yeah, yeah. that one thing yeah. I, I didn't I didn't do that. <laughs> and he's like, "Ah, fuck it." So they go back and Worf's like, "I don't believe anybody. Look at my mustache." Mm-hmm. And um and they're like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "No, I believe him because he took responsibility for everything else, so mm-hmm. they must be true." <laughs> and uh, I really think. Bo is really cool looking. The, and the Ro Laren, you mean the the Ro, character? yeah. What yeah, did yeah, I okay, say? Okay. Bo? You said Bo. I was legitimately yeah. confused who you're talking about for Ro, Ro, Ro. <laughs> Ro your boat. Um <laughs> Kylo Ren. I, I like your style, dude. And mm. so Picard's like, no, and then and then Picard's like, let me see you in my ready room. And I thought, ooh, oh, okay. Oh my. <laughs> and so he he goes, she goes over there and she is like torn about basically telling him that that she's a double agent you know yeah. and then Kaylin shows up to her fucking room unannounced doesn't even knock just fucking rolls up in there what if she was doing intimate things well wait wait hold on hold on when picard like takes her uh like asks her to come to his ready room it's just to say like you fucked up royal yeah. and you're confined to your quarters now you're grounded like yeah yeah get the fuck out of here dude yeah and so she's she's confined to the room and then Kaylin comes in and he's like hey uh, let's have a talk and then we'll become the best of friends. <laughs> and, and, and I'm here so, to advance the plot. Yeah. 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 And she, basically she's like, just trust Picard and tell him what's up. Cause he's cool. And he's also a professor Xavier and, uh, and he's very cool. <laughs> basically. Yeah. He's got the best haircuts <laughs> in the fucking fleet. Mm-hmm. Um, so they go to him and Picard's like, what the fuck dude? I told her to go to her room. And he's like, no, yeah, but she's my friend. So it's cool. And yeah. then Picard's like, oh, okay, she's your friend. <laughs> Let me friends. talk to her then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This Picard's is the like, absolute I'm, limit that I'm willing yeah. to accept of the writers saying, well, it's okay because Guinan did it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like when she just railroads the show like that, like this is the last time mm-hmm. I'm willing to accept it happening this blatantly. One yeah. interesting thing is th- yeah, we're like starting it. to see more of why Guinan and Picard have a relationship at all. And Guinan yeah, reveals can, that he saved her from something before. So I guess we'll. But she has she has the uh, the 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 Capitine powers, claws. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't yeah, need to be yeah. saved, dude. Well, it was something well, was where saying. we needed Picard's expertise. You so. think you think you think he bonged her? You think you think he bonged her? 
That's the I thing. That was possible. the problem. <laughs> I think it's possible. I, I suspect he's fucked everybody in the show, dude. Even Riker. Yeah. Uh, that's my yeah, theory. Yeah. I think we'll so. find out in Picard the the actual like years later we find out. Okay. He's quick pro quote everyone. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god. He's, he's sent everybody to his ready room. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Everybody that's why there aren't actually like, that many people on the ship. To his yeah. <laughs> that's why he he he's shown him his uh, Earl Grey. Yep, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, so she she says, "Hey, I'm Kaylin's friend. So trust me." <laughs> and she basically says, like, "Yeah, just like that." <laughs> yeah, hey man, just trust me. Good. He's like, good you know friend. that fucking that southern gentleman that that the admiral. And he's like, yeah. He's like, oh, he's a piece of shit, dude. He's 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 just starting up shit, and this is all bullshit. And he just wants you to kill them all, and then he's got something. He's got some sketchy going on. He was gonna give him ships and weapons if they yeah. went home and, and Picard is like that's impossible <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like what do you mean no what admiral mean? has ever yeah. done anything evil like this <laughs> yeah no, no, I'm sure they have and we didn't just get out of a conflict yeah. all about aiding you know people with weapons yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so they're like what do you mean there's there's no weapons of mass destruction <laughs> um <laughs> And so she's like, yeah, dude, this is a bullshit fucking scam, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, all right, all right. And she kind of, she kind of is like, all right, I got to believe you, dude, because you're Caitlin's friend. And that makes sense. Mm. So, so they set a trap, dude. It's, it's a, it's a double trap now. Mm. Uh, they send out the, they, they go to escort the ship and the Kardashians show up and they're like, oh, fuck, we want a little too Kanye. fast. They show up yeah. like instantly. They yeah. roll up and they're like, we want Kanye back. Uh, <laughs> and, and then everyone's like, you, you, you kind of like, you you did this to him like he's yeah. you guys made him crazy made him <laughs> and he's like no no he's a racist now and he's like well he had mental issues and you guys didn't help him um <laughs> and <laughs> God damn it. so so the, so they're like the Kardashians show up and then they blow up the ship of the terrorist group mm-hmm. and they're like oh fuck dude they're dead and then the admiral shows up out of nowhere and he's like, "Hey, job well Ooh, done." Eh? So what happened? Uh, yeah, did they get blown up? Did that? Yeah. <laughs> everyone's yeah. dead. I think. Yeah, yeah. Did, that, did that happen? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "No, there was. There's. There's zero casualties." And he goes, "I see. I see. I see. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and they're like, they're like, no, there's no casualties. It was a ruse, motherfucker. You've been caught, dude. You've been punked." Yeah. And he's like, "What do you mean? Not I. I say not I." <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He, he, they basically like tricked him and the Kardashians are, they're just pieces of shit, dude. This is one too many times that the people have said like the Kardashians are pieces of shit, dude. And have <laughs> too much work done to their face. Yeah, um, too much. And they ruined everybody's fucking careers. Kanye, yeah. Pete Davidson, <laughs> everybody's too cursed. wide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, friend enemies become friends the admiral I gets court martialed yeah <laughs> yeah allegedly 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 we yeah, they just it. presume that he will be he's just yeah. saying like hey he'll probably get court martialed i guess i don't yeah. like that part though i, I wish that we could have seen admirals him, like, get cuffs. exposed all the time yeah. and start <laughs> late. i don't know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, and what if he does it and he shows up in a later episode? I'm back, Picard. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> yeah. They gave me a slap on the wrist and a promotion. Yes. <laughs> now I'm a super admiral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so the the Fo Fo what's her what's her name? Ro 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 Ro, Ro. Ro <laughs> uh, So Ro goes down again to her planet at the end. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, these people have blankets now. Look at all these blankets out mm. here, dude. <laughs> Beautiful blankets." <laughs> Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Look at all these blankets. blankets. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful warm blankets. This you is what I like the to see. Huge obnoxious yeah. letters that say "Thank you, Starfleet." Yeah, yeah. yeah the blankets have <laughs> stitched on them, fr- courtesy of Starfleet. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> they're, 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 they're walking. They're walking through through a thing, and there some ladies like washing like thirty fucking blankets, dude. She's got some yeah. like, blankets, <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's basically they're like, well. You know what? We thought you were a piece of shit and you're a traitor, but now since you're Kaylin's friend, why don't you come up? Yeah. <laughs> why, why don't you become the new Wesley? I've been oh, jonesing for us. Wesley ever yeah. since Wesley left. It's we, amazing so. how quickly yeah. they turn and are like, you know what? Join us permanently. You know. Yeah, Doesn't we're besties now, and yeah. it's like uh, <sighs> that's what I don't like about this show. Is that like, <laughs> dude, Picard is emotionally compromised, dude. He's a goddamn Borg, dude. <laughs> And he's still fucking running around, dude. 
repping yeah. repping the red color, dude. He should have been <laughs> repping the red. <laughs> he, he should really be like dissected and, be, and like let's really get into into the nitty gritty of his balls and see if he's got any <laughs> chips in there, you know. And then this girl too, she's a goddamn terrorist. Known terrorist killed five men, dude. She's an assassin. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? All's well as it ends. You know what? Slate clean, dude. We're going to give mean, you they, the Selena Kyle treatment. They hated her so much at the beginning. Yeah. It was just this over-the-top hatred of her. And now it's like, well, why don't you join the team? Yeah. Well, we, I, think we it's love they, I think it's just Picard that actually invites her on. And they're alone together. I, I only like in terms of actual other crew members accepting her, they are mm. just kind of doing their jobs alongside her. I don't think we get yeah. any further. Than I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I would count mm. on the whole crew accepting her at once. It's just saying, Picard having seen her in action mm. over a stressful situation up close. So Picard very specifically. just gets to make that decision and say like, oh, yeah. Yeah. he's the captain. He's the captain. <laughs> yeah. He you gets to choose good. whoever he wants. Any, on other, any other day you'd be like, yeah, you do it, Picard. I love you. Well, I just, I, <laughs> I, I am happy that he invited her on. I just, the reaction at the beginning, it just feels like when Picard feels a certain way, I'm surprised he just flipped so quickly. Well, Picard is someone who's willing to self-evaluate a lot. Like, But he, we didn't even get into why he all of a sudden, because he's she's friends with Guinan and can No, no, because she, in, the, in this stressful double cross situation, he thinks she handled it really well. I she mean, was like, along oh, with Guinan. Okay. It's not, like, I'd say it's both. Yeah, I, I, I just feel both. like he maybe need to prove a little bit more than maybe we'll see her do this. You don't understand. Times. It's Guinan, Sarah. We need, we need, we need like it's a track record. Guinan. She's yeah. good. It's <laughs> like you can't go off one instance of being like, oh, well, I mean, Sarah. I'm just trying to say I, I support it. I like the character. I'm happy she's in there. Sarah, but, to be fair, she's, she's coming on board just as know. another ensign. You know, she's not <laughs> like a know. big. I don't know much about Guinan. Honestly, I don't know enough. To trust her. Well, That's I'm telling enough. you right That's now, fair. you can trust Guinan. <laughs> Here's What's the her thing. fucking last I, name? I don't even know Guinan's last name. Guinan, Guinan, Guinan. Double Goldberg. <laughs> yeah. Guinan, yeah. Guinan. It's like, how no, am I supposed to trust Guinan someone Goldberg. when I don't even know? <laughs> Guinan Goldberg. I can't Dude. trust you. I don't even know your last name. It yeah, has a good true, ring to true. it, Guinan Goldberg. You know what? Are you guys claiming that there might be, um, might be uh, like uh, sexual favors going on? Between what? Between, no. Between Bo, Bo, <laughs> Bo, and, and and Picard. No. I think it's possible. Row, row, row. <laughs> I think it's possible. I don't think ongoing favors. No, but I mean, I, I can imagine a situation in the future you know, them being entangled somehow. Yeah, sure. She's not that a bad looking, a bad looking lady. You know, I think. Yeah, I think she's a really good looking lady. Marvin, yeah. are you? She's a firebrand. Sorry, are you eating yogurt? Uh, I'm eating a cake. Oh, it's, it's cake time. Lucky. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to give this a fucking a seven. Okay. Mm. Seven. Kay. You know what? Mm. I am giving it a nine. Why? Whoa. Whoa. I really oh like this episode. God. I like oh it God, quite a bit. Dude. If you're going to introduce a character, I think Do they it, did it. Confuse everybody. <laughs> <laughs> confuse everybody I, and not provide context to her I think really they introduced her character really well in a story that really is both a good political story on its own and a good exploration of a character just entering the show Marvin we don't know what she did dude what do you mean? Well, you will learn as time goes on but you all, all you got in this episode was all the context you needed you know you didn't need to know okay, the full okay. scope I want to ask you this yet. right now Marvin Mm -hmm. Is your score, do you believe that your score here would be yeah. exactly the same if you knew nothing about what follows? No, no, it, it, it would, it, it's not affected by that at all because I, I actually don't, there's only one other episode I directly remember about a lot about Rowan and it has nothing to do with what's going on here. Rowan it's, Atkins? It's, like, <laughs> it's just Dream? an episode, it's like a, this is another incidental episode down the line where she happens to be involved, <laughs> but it's not super character driven. It's just... So this is the episode I'm actually gauging it on where I'm like, no, I think like, first of all, this is maybe the third or even fourth time TNG has discussed terrorism. And I think this is the first time they've actually handled it properly. Remember like the weird, like, or at least uh, def yeah, definitely the closest to it for sure. Yeah. It's like before they handled it with like a the one where uh, Beverly was kidnapped down a stupid, yeah. <laughs> where, where, where yeah. it was, it was just like, well, we're th we think we're doing the right thing. I think you're doing the wrong thing. You know, it's like, stupid. Yeah, like this, uh, it's, like, it's <laughs> often like that. It's like, it's just a bunch of like meatheads underground. 
you yeah, know, it, like it, arguing it, with each other. Yeah, and, and there was there was at least another one off the top of my head. I can't remember, but they've never talked. Oh, the one where the super soldiers. Remember, they yes. accidentally created a bunch of super soldiers, and they're like, "Oh, well, they're terrorists." Yeah, you created them, but it's like some sort of analogy that isn't like comparable to our society at all. So the terrorism message kind of falls apart because you're kind of well, like, it was, well, wasn't that supposed to be an allegory just on veterans in general? Yeah, I guess veterans in general, but it's also, but they're also terrorists. So right, they used <laughs> terrorists to tell a veteran allegory, which, which is may, weird, which may be the misstep <laughs> there. So, sure. I, so I feel like this is the first time where they're like, okay, this is about Palestinians and Israelites and we're not making a direct no, 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 comment. No, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. And, but, and we're just kind of just presenting it as is. And it works, in my opinion. It's still a little blunt, you know, especially the part where uh, the Kiev guy down the planet goes, well, mm-hmm. we, sh- we should have attacked you a long time ago then, if that's the way to get your attention. And But I do like sure. that Ro responds like going, you're being stupid, Kiev. Like, you're, you're a little man who thinks he has a lot of power. Just listen to him, you know? And I, I kind of like that, I like that she's the linchpin of adding reason to this fucked up situation. And I think it's a great way to introduce the character. I think they do a really good job with a really good story and it works. There's not many flaws in it, in my opinion. Uh, I, I just think it's slightly rushed in the way she is integrated into the crew at the end. That's about it. So. All right. I'm willing to give it a, an eight. All right. All right. Based on strength of performance and... Yeah, and also Michelle Forbes does give a really good performance. Her monologue yeah. when yeah. she is talking about her dad is pretty good. Yeah. I'm willing to yeah. go for call a chump. six. Oh, a six. I oh. think a six. I mean, I, I am excited that this character is introduced and will be a regular. Um, mm-hmm. I do agree that the way in which she was brought on to Starfleet is a little rushed. Um, <laughs> we didn't even get through a background check or did she even <laughs> fill out an application? I just, I don't know. Well, they've, feel... they've established that you can kind of just make anyone a member of the crew. Yeah, what's funny is that yeah, she was I like taken know. out of prison by an admiral who is now disgraced. And so yeah, she gets to just, stay out. And yeah, like how is that, you know, did we negotiate her, her prison sentence to be down? Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. They're I mean, playing there's loose a lot. as hell. <laughs> they are playing if, it loose. If they bring yeah. any of that up like later, I'll be really impressed. But I think I what know. they should have done <laughs> is be like, Ro goes, you know, Starfleet looked at my situation and they're like, we'll give you another chance at this star, star base somewhere and see if you can, you know, get your shit together. And maybe they meet up with her later in the season mm-hmm. and they go on another adventure. And then Picard goes, man, you should really join my team. This is two things in a row where you've just been awesome. You should just join. Yeah, our crew. I think we could yeah, have extended cool. it a little bit. I don't think we needed to rush it so quickly. Where yeah, like, it is a little oh, rushed. She's on the team. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think we could have had maybe at the end, like talks of being like, okay, let's talk about your prison sentence. Let's actually give some context into what your crimes are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, or yeah, maybe Picard's like, you know, I talked to Starfleet on your behalf. You know, we think we should just commute your prison sentence and just have you go back to duty just in a star base somewhere, but you're no longer in prison. Like we don't, you've proven that you're, you know, I just realized that I'll be pretty disappointed if we never get a situation where Picard like takes Row aside and is like level with me here. What the fuck actually happened that day? <laughs> yeah. Like he I needs mean, to give I her that one day, I, one time. I really hope that that's the plan moving forward. Is that we will get into her backstory at some yeah. point, right? Yeah. Hopefully it'll right, leave. Marvin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like if anyone gets to hear the whole version, it better damn well be Picard. Yeah, or Guinan, or Guinan gets to hear it. Guinan had her chance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forget her I, for I, all. I they're all besties now. This, this <laughs> yeah, they're all besties now. <laughs> yeah, Guinan. Yeah, like, it's funny because when Guinan says they're, like, someone's a friend, I don't actually believe her. <laughs> yeah, she, the, it's like, you're not really a friend. To be you're fair. Just, you're, just the, you're just the plot important thing right now today. Shut up. I do think uh, Rupi Goldberg's performance in this episode is a little, like, by the numbers and a little flat. She does kind of just go. She kind yeah, of phoned it in a I'm, little bit. I'm saying, I'm saying the wise thing. Goodbye. You know, like that's kind of like her performance. There's a little like subtlety to it. She just kind of like walks in and goes, "Hey." But I feel like her dialogue's yeah. a little boilerplate too. Yeah, it doesn't help by the dialogue. 
But, you know, I, I think it makes it less, a little less believable that she does become friends with Ro that quickly. So if we trust oh, Guinan, mean, yeah. if we trust Guinan that much, I want to know who Guinan isn't friends with. Like, that's what I want to know who's Q, on the Q. shit She list. fucking hates Q. She oh, yeah, she ain't friends Q. with Q, which is yeah. like, you know, good on her. Apparently, if you're Guinan's friend, you can do whatever the fuck, but yeah. you're amazing. But yeah, if you're like on her the shit first list, time she pulled um, that string, I was like, hey, why don't you, or, or, or like, she made sure, essentially, on her own, that D- Denise Crosby went back in time. Yeah, back in time. Yeah, I don't know. I just think there Dead were doctor. other ways to do this, but I do like that they introduced this character, and I'm excited to see where it goes. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Well, I yeah. just reminded myself of something by saying "doctor." There is that moment in this episode where Beverly is like, "Hey, about that like jobber Bajoran that oh. they end up ignoring." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, and he was such a wonderful dancer." <laughs> yeah, I love how they like put that in just for her to be like, "Hey, remember what Beverly said that she didn't want to be known Ro as a dancing makes doctor?" Fun of her? Remo- yeah, yeah. Do you Ro like makes fun of her and was just like, "Oh, he won't ask you to dance after." Yeah, like, the real the real Bajor- yeah. real Bajorans I, don't dance. Idiot. I, I love. <laughs> That. I actually loved that line. I was like, you know what? Yeah, That's majority. fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm thinking like, Beverly, you're really not helping your own case here. You I said know, you didn't yeah. want to be known as a dancing doctor. Yeah. Stop dropping and, hints. Yeah. 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 Maybe at this point she's like, ah, it's fine. Everyone knows now again. And then yeah. <laughs> everyone late. saw everyone saw that social media video of me dancing with Data. Yeah. Data posted it onto Starfleet book. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay roll aaron the episode that's a it's another episode of newbie star trek thanks for listening everybody i hope you, you liked our discussion and thank you, know, you if you've been liking it you can uh, leave us a review or a comment or a rating wherever you're listening some of you are or, on youtube or don't or don't to you yeah. it's a country. Some, please some leave us are- a review i am asking you i love reading <laughs> the reviews Sarah's giving you no choice. Ricardo's giving you a choice. Go we shall on, see. leave that review. Nothing, bad nothing or matters good. We'll in the take world. it. We're all dying slowly. <laughs> we'll take bad. Yeah. We'll take good. We'll take yeah. middle of the road. We'll Wherever take you annoying. are. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Tell Podcast me I'm annoying. Addict. Tell me how annoying I am. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, if well, you want to they're gonna, send they're us- gonna tell you, didn't you? you can't be like, you can't I'm be ready. like, oh, I'm ready. Not- <laughs> oh no, they're I'm really going to do gates. it, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, no. And uh, if you guys want to send us an email, talk to us a little more directly, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. So this week's letter is titled Dr. Crusher Unicycle. It'll make sense shortly. Hey everyone, I just have to say I love the show. I'm currently watching all of you, you all on YouTube and enjoying the hell out of it. Thanks for providing so many hours of entertainment as we journey through this series. I'm a little behind and recently got to the episode Yesterday's Enterprise, which is one of my favorites. I had to stop the video because I was laughing so hard at the comment about Beverly secretly hiding on the bridge of the Enterprise C just so she could throw a piece of shrapnel at Captain Garrett to kill her. And then later (laughs) on slitting Riker's throat. (laughs) I love the take of Beverly getting off on killing or letting people die under her watch. That's what I would expect from a mom who raised a terrorist, Wesley. I stumbled across this photo of Gates McFadden in uniform on the Paramount lot, riding a unicycle and figured it's a thing of nightmares. So I'm going to send this to Discord chat right now. I can imagine... Beverly unicycling down the Enterprise hallways. Oh my God. R- running over crewmen so that go. she can treat them later. Maybe, yeah. plus, plus, maybe this is basis for Beverly being part clown and therefore even more terrifying as a doctor. That's anyway. fucking crazy. <laughs> Enjoy Yo, the show. That's an amazing picture. <laughs> How does one even ride one of these things? That's their skill. Crazy. With gusto. It's just uh, balance. It's just balance. Yeah. I know. Uh, anyway. Hard, though. Wow. Enjoy the show. Can't wait for you guys to go off on Beverly in the episode with Ronan and the candle later in the series. Thanks for the crazy trek, Chris. To be fair, have we I seen that this, one? Yeah. this. No, we haven't seen it yet. It hasn't come okay, up okay. yet. Yeah, I was like, yeah. that doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. This, I just want to make sure uh, that it wasn't. I, this picture reminds me of it. You know that sequence in it when they're looking mm-hmm, through mm-hmm, old mm-hmm, photos mm-hmm. and they start coming to life. Yeah. I, I imagine uh, Beverly coming to life in this photo. <laughs> She's frightening. Yeah, <laughs> delete it. Delete it. The- <laughs> what if in that episode that like played out like horror, or, like that nightmare on Elm Street thing, like Beverly was like haunting herself. Oh, 
She's like, Hoo, hoo, hoo. There's I'm something unwholesome about riding the a crusher? unicycle on the Paramount lot. Yeah. It's just, I'm yeah. really crusher. The dan- not the dancing clown, the dancing, Hello, the dancing Wesley doctor. Dear. <laughs> Uh, thanks for the email, Chris. That was enlightening. Yeah, thanks for the know. photo. That that's an amazing picture. Yeah, yeah, man. It's just it's good to know in real life. It's good to know that they're just all kind of just doing a wacky shit on set while they're waiting for things. Well, so many <laughs> actors like you know just become like wacky sideshow like people of a thousand skills when and during downtime. It's true. Like a lot yeah, of actors yeah. are like that just because like they're actors. There's a Star Trek actor that learned juggling just because he was waiting. I forget which one it was. Like he exactly. Just a juggle. ton of yeah. actors learned have learned juggling because they had nothing <laughs> else to do <laughs> before phones. Now people won't juggle as much because they're phones now, but you know, <laughs> I swear yeah, to God, now, that, must now, that must yeah, be a real statistic. That must be a real statistic. Yeah, the number, the amount of casual juggling has gone down since the invention <laughs> of the smartphone. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, next week. Next Think week, about it. we are <laughs> we are watching Silicon Avatar next week. Silicon is it silicon? Oh, silicon, not silicon. Silicon Avatar. If you remember a first season episode you may remember this premise it'll be a thing but yeah that's next week you'll you'll see a thing returning and yeah that's uh that's that's newbie star trek if you want to catch us other things we do fugitiveframes.com random things over there check them out it's all good but yeah we're gonna watch silicon avatar next time see you guys in a week everything changed when the silicon fire nation attacked yeah when the silicon nation Stay safe.